it's Chris here and I am back uh, on a river. I'm back up in Scotland and this is the start of my 2023 season. Oh, it feels like ages since I've uh, been fishing. Uh, it's now um, just coming up to the uh, sort of like the middle of March and I'm fishing here at East Hawk uh, on the River Tummel. Uh, this has been recommended to me by lots of my amazing subscribers uh, and I've also been recommended where to fish so I don't know what the what the level is like of this river and whether I'm fishing it good or bad but I'm here it's my first day and my good friend Russ uh, who you may see in future videos uh, was up near the Pitlockry Dam uh, and caught a stonker of a, a, a springer uh, a spring salmon yeah amazing so uh, I hope you enjoy it now if you're new to this channel please know that I record that I record videos <laughs> I don't know if you saw the train I record videos uh, of when I go fishing whether or not I catch a fish for me it's all about the experience of the day it's getting out in this amazing beautiful countryside right well East Hawk uh, is it East Haw or East Hawk? Uh, not to sound like Forest Dump. Dump? <laughs> Forest Gump. Is it East Haw or East Hawg? Anyway, or Hawk even. Uh, so I can't believe it's my first day of fishing for 2023. Got an absolutely amazing um, fishing trip for, the, for March lined up. Uh, and I'll tell you more about that a bit later on. Today I'm fishing with my Shakespeare Oracle switch, fly, uh, switch rod, 11 foot, uh, 7, 8 weight. Uh, I have tied on uh, one of these um, tube flies, which is like that, which I can't remember. It's orange, it's got a gold head. And I am also using, for the first time ever, a uh, fly line, uh, that was very kindly donated to me by one of my subscribers, Fraser. So thank you, Fraser. Um, I'm going to see how we get on with it. I don't see. I don't know. I was saying in, in my introduction. I don't know whether this part of the river is uh, actually um, very wide or too wide. But it looks to me as though uh, the best place for a fish is going to be uh, down this channel here on the left side and then out and I'm assuming that this is Peg Legs Corner I think that uh, I, mean, I can see another person down there uh, who's moving down into another part of the river but anyway I'm just going to fish this bit because then I'm going to get back in the car and I'm going to hit the other side and go down to another pool which has been recommended to me by uh, some subscribers uh, to just basically fish those two. So that's what my plans are. I've got my net just in case and um, I am only wearing wellies. That's because I don't really want to go in today. It just doesn't look like it. It looks like I'm going to be clambering over rocks for this bit. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, uh, here we go. Wish me luck. So today I didn't I started quite late today because this is my first day on the river and uh, first day of 2023 I got up here yesterday afternoon spent one night in the Lake District stopped so here's my journey right I left Cornwall and then I went to Hertfordshire for a couple of weeks looking on the business make sure that's all doing all right then I went up to the Lake District, uh, one night in the Lake District uh, at Little Acres Caravan site, which is one of the only ones sort of on the M6 road that is open all year. Lots of the caravan sites I stay on tend to be uh, 
you know, very seasonal. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why it's difficult for me to come up uh, any earlier, really, because of the availability of caravan sites. Um, and I don't, I don't like, I don't like uh, towing for longer than six hours. It's really quite mind-numbing because you, you know, you're averaging between 50 and 60 miles an hour on good roads. I like this. I certainly like this uh, line. It's very easy. Very easy. He's got to get the hang of it now, really. Yeah, so as I was saying, I just wanted to have a um, a bit of an easy day, really, because um, I'm not because I'm fishing solidly. What have I got? I've got two more days of uh, fishing booked this week. And they're both sort of gillied beats. And, you know, there's an expectation, I suppose, that you're going to get there at a certain time. And I just thought, well, let's have a, an ungillied beat. River Tunnel is recommended by a number of people. I'll put the um, I'll put the information about where I booked my fishing, how much I paid, and everything else at the end of the video, and also in the comments section uh, below the video, because I know a lot of people have said they would appreciate knowing this kind of stuff. So happy to help happy to help also um, when this video comes out will probably be on Sunday uh, the majority of the UK below Edinburgh is covered in thick snow and it's just ironic isn't it that I mean I don't mind I'm not complaining at all uh, I made it up here one day before the snow fell on the rest of England. And at the moment there's no snow. There probably will be snow at some point over the next uh, week or so. But, um, yeah. Alright, so it's... Uh, Been here for a couple of hours now. Let's uh, go back to the car, have something to eat. Didn't, quite, didn't catch anything, obviously. Yeah, go back to the car now, have something to eat, and then uh, I'm gonna drive over to the I think it's the west side of the river. And I think the pool, or the pool I've been recommend, recommended, oh Christ, the pool I have been recommended is Moulion, I think. Don't criticize me for mispronouncing these words. Lovely to be out, nice sunny weather. Anyone would think it's like June if it wasn't minus one. Theo's been for a lovely walk this morning. Went around McClure Forest, which was lovely. And he had a whale of a time. So, I think that's lunch. Maybe a cup of coffee.
Well, I made it to Mullian uh, eventually after two wrong turns. Uh, I went down a track. See, on the instructions it said take the right track, so I took the right track uh, and it led me to a quarry. I mean, the car's pretty good, but it did bottom out a couple of times, lost grip. I mean, uh, to be fair, I only had it in uh, two wheel drive, stuck it in four wheel drive, and there was no problem, but yeah a bit frustrating and then probably about six gates <laughs> so uh, anyway I'm here now I'm here at uh, this uh, this pool which is at the bottom of East Hawk uh, fishery I've just made myself a nice coffee Ooh, with some whiskey in it just to kind of warm me up uh, temperatures about well, I'm not really dressed up, but I've got lots of layers on. Um, temperature's about minus two at the moment. Uh, I'm not going in the river, I've just got my wellies on. I'm just gonna keep the switch rod and just uh, chuck it out. It doesn't look, to be honest, it doesn't look that sort of uh, big. It certainly doesn't look like I need to get to break the spay rod out. Uh, I know a couple of, uh, quite a few subscribers now have commented that uh, you know some of the rivers I fish on with the the 14 foot 9 uh, especially a few people from Norway thank you uh, have all commented that probably it's a bit too big a rod uh, for some of the rivers I'm fishing on but you know um, I've got the 14 foot 9 Scandi and I've got this uh, 11 foot uh, uh, um, uh, switch rod uh, I don't really want to have to go and buy more rods Eventually, I will go and get a 13-footer. I'll get another Shakespeare Oracle, but I'll get a 13-footer. I did have, um, I did have it in my in my checkout cart on one of the online shops for ages, but then I just never really got round to it. And then suddenly, something else needed to be paid for, and you know, it's just how it is, isn't it? So. Yeah, thanks everybody for your support and your advice. I will eventually get round to having a 13-foot rod. Um, I know I said in a previous video and was picked up by my friend Chris, uh, tattooed angler, who said they can never have enough rods. Uh, or don't tell the missus or something like that. I can't quite remember what you said now. But um, yeah, I will get a 13-footer and then that's it. I'm not buying any more rods. From the perspective of trout fishing, which you may know I've finished now, um, I've got uh, four or five different rods in different sizes from like brook rods like seven feet all the way up to I think the longest is ten foot you know I think I think I'll make do for this season with the 11 foot switch and the 14 foot nine spay uh, there's a bit of versatility there and eventually I will probably for next season maybe I'll go and get myself a 13 footer uh, but right now I'm, I'm kind of quite happy with uh, with what I've got. Oh, that's, that hits the spot. Tell me about your uh, fishing experiences so far. Have you managed to get yourself out the door? Uh, what have you got planned? Um, stay tuned for more fishing videos from me. And by the way, if you're not subscribing, please do. Uh, and give us a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video as much as I enjoy this coffee. So what I did is rather than getting in uh, at Moulin, uh, Moulin, at that pool, Moulin, oh, oh goodness me. All right, start again, cut out all the stuff, cut out the first video as well. Right, well instead of fishing this pool straight away, I just came, uh, I don't know if you can see up there, there's some croys. I think it's called, I think that's called the ferry stream. And I just hopped in, uh, not very deep, uh, just up to roughly where, uh, where that croy sticks out. And I've just fished down uh, this stretch here. It's quite fast water. And I think the pool that I was told to go and fish looks pretty slack very slow and I'm just gonna fish the, the back of this 
and then start mooching my way down and around. Yeah, I've been here about, I don't know, maybe a couple of hours now on this stretch. Absolutely lovely to be out. And I tell you what, thank you so much to everybody who recommended I come to this river. It's so nice to go somewhere new. I mean, it's lovely to be fishing at all. I'm very lucky, I know that. Yeah, it's nice to be fishing somewhere new. Start snowing. And yet it doesn't feel cold enough for snow, if that makes any sense at all. Just trying to get used to uh, this fly line in this rod. It's, uh, I'll put um, a list of all of my tackle that I use. I'll put that in the comments section. I haven't seen many people fishing today. I saw one person earlier. This behaves really well. Nope, didn't see those planes. Oh. Thought for a minute. Oh yeah there. You see that? Wow. Ah. Amazing. And another one. Can you see this there? Right, so that's it. Uh, that's East Hawk uh, on the River Tummel. I really loved it. Thank you to everybody who uh, recommended me fish on the River Tummel. Um, I certainly will come back on my next trip up uh, to this area. But now I'm moving on. And on my next video, I am going to be fishing on the River Tay at Stobles. I uh, hope I pronounced that right. So, 
thank you very much if you've enjoyed this video please give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't done so already please subscribe and i look forward to catching you on another amazing salmon fishing video uh, in the, from the perspective of a novice salmon fisherman. Thanks very much for watching. Proper job.